Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily add footfall sounds to your Unreal Engine animations. This video will show you the same process even though it, ironically, will not use the actual sound cue of those footfalls but will use explosions which is much more dramatic and at the same time it's the sound I have in my starter content. So to do that, right now I have my simple starter top-down project. As you can see, it's currently completely sound free. It has my mannequin and it has its run animation. I want to add those sounds, footfall sounds, which will not be again footfalls, but explosions to the same idle, to the same running animation that is already in the starter content. So first of all, I need to find it and I'm going to search here for animation and we have a bunch of these, but what I want to use is actually run, third person run. I'm going to double click on it and open it up. And as you can see, it's looping here. You can also change the viewport like in everything in Unreal Engine and you can basically for start stop the same animation and we're going to zoom back in and we're going to watch the animation in better detail and we're going to add those sounds here so this is a good vantage point you can go through this by simply rewinding the play button now don't get confused this kind of view, viewport changed over the years in Unreal Engine, but it basically does the same thing in any version you might have. The thing you're looking for is notifies and you already have a single notify track, which is here and it's empty. In this space, you will add those sound cues. Now the cues are only kind of a segment that tells the Unreal Engine to play something and later on, you have to choose the actual sound you want to hear here at that point. So to add notifiers, you simply need to right click in this space and here is add notify. And there is a bunch of these, as you can see, there are simulation particle effects, but there is also play sound. So I'm going to add the first one right at the start. And I'm going to add the second one, basically when the other leg can gets into contact with ground. That should be somewhere around here. Of course, you can modify and move all of these once you see them in the game. Again, right click and play sound. Here it is. So we have our first and our second, and we can also add our third here, somewhere around, yeah, here, which is going to be again, right click, play sound. Right now, if we go into the game, nothing will happen because we only add notifies here, but they didn't contain or don't contain any sounds. If you click on each of these, you will see that the sound segment is empty. We need to change this and add your sound of footfalls if you have them. I'm currently without those, so I'm going to use Explosion 01. It's the starter content audio stuff. And I'm going to do the same Explosion 01 for the second queue and for the third queue as well for notify explosions 01. So there they are here and the preview is already playing them. Now I'm going to save it. I'm going to save this, these changes and I'm going to try it out in the game. So let's see it in action. I began play and let's do a bit of running. And there it is, as you can see, or better said here, there is a bit of overlap. So the first and the third are too close. And I'm going to move the second one, uh, actually the third one, a bit further here. And this one here, this one here. And now there should be less of that loop overlap. Let's try it out. And let's save it again and see it now. Thank you. 
So it's far from perfect, they are in a kind of weird blend with the animation loops, there is kind of an overlap, but that's the basic process. Once again, you simply open up your animation and add things in your Notify tracks. You can also add additional tracks, which do the same thing for additional things, not only sounds, but also effects and so forth. All of which are presented in your animation blueprint, which is then immediately presented in your level. So there you have it, it's really simple, it's really easy and straightforward. Of course you need footfall sound effects and stuff like that. Or you simply want to have your mannequin creating excellent, amazing, really cool explosion sounds whenever they hit the ground. That's all for this Unreal Engine tutorial video, hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and sticking all the way till the end. If you'd like to support my channel, there is a bunch of ways you can do that in the description below. The easiest one is to simply subscribe to my channel and check out new videos once they come out. My name is Ivica, until then, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video, leave a comment or question in the comment section below, and I'll see you again with my new Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. Until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye bye!